Hello everybody, I am Samuel15 the Dragons I'm here, here today. Welcome to Pokemon TCG Online Expanded Format Monday, where each and every single week we take a look at an interesting deck in the expanded format and play a game or two with it. Um, sometimes these decks are kind of competitive, sometimes these are just fun decks, sometimes these decks are just decks you have forgotten, and this time around this it is a, a clean clang deck of sorts. Um, and this guy is asking me how much uh, beaches cost, and I'm going to go say, I think, about, so yeah, um, normally they would start off a, uh, video like this with the, uh, oof, yeah, he's like, ouch, yup. I think, I'm just guessing, but I think it's about 25 for one. Yep. I could be wrong, though. I'm just going to switch into that. Um. Ugh, yeah, normally I would expand, start off the video with uh, telling you about the uh, deck and showing uh, you of the uh, list for the deck. But not this time around. Today I am actually just going to be straight up just. Uh, what do I want to put up? Really doesn't matter. I just want to get this slice center in my hand. That's all. That's honestly what it is. Um, I'm not gonna tool scrap or heat. Yeah, might as well just well so I can get a tool scrapper in my hand so I can draw into cards. But yeah, normally would like I said, I keep trying to say uh, I would normally uh, start off this uh, video with explaining about the deck, but I'm just trying to play this deck uh, randomly, and I see a good. Uh, my opponent's playing great eels, and I'm like, you know, this would be an interesting way to start off a video. It truly would be. So, I am decided to uh, start off my video this way. <laughs> I haven't dealt with Pokemon with Plasma Cling in like eight months. Um, true. And people forgot about this deck, this deck exists, but Plasma Clang and just Clean Clang in general, it's a deck. It's a, people, it's a deck a lot of people forget, but it's a thing. Um, now I'm a little worried here. Maybe I should have actually promote not have attached the energy to the Cabalion. I'm not regretting that because now my opponent's going to start a turn two. Uh, Rayquaza, which isn't exactly uh, common. It's it's not exactly rare, but you know it doesn't happen every freaking day. And I just ugh. Probably just should have switched, but shoulda, coulda was as the, the saying goes. Um, fall there. I think I could have evolved last turn, but I'm not sure. I could be wrong. I usually am. Um, put the steel here. Not gonna do that just yet. Um, I think I'm just gonna beach here. I'm just trying to get into something. Uh, yeah, I keep trying to give you guys a proper introduction, but I just keep getting sidetracked. But yeah, um, this is a definitely a clean playing deck of sorts I'm playing. And I'm playing against Red Eagles, so I thought this would be an interesting thing. Uh, uh. Yeah. So... My opponent can definitely not get this heat ran here. But oh my opponent's trying to catch her up uh the cling cling before it goes falls into a steel. Oh my opponent just tries to get just gonna try to get rid of the registeel here. Oh my trade is complete. Um looks like I'm just gonna be wrecked in this in this uh matchup. <laughs> but uh this is still a somewhat competitive deck, even though you're not, not seeing any of it right now because I'm currently being wrecked, pun intended. Um, and I'm not drawing into anything, despite the fact I'm playing with Tropical Beach, I'm not drawing into any of my good supporters. Um, so, my opponent's just gonna you catch it up my freaking Registeel, and I'm just gonna get blown away. It's sad because I only have one of each, but luckily I do have the Super Rod in my hand. I am very much so going to uh, get the plasma playing out right now. So, 
simply because he can't do anything else now. Now that this thing's out, he cannot attack me. Um, this match has immediately gotten a lot slower. And that is very good for me. I'm very happy about that, that it's gotten slower. I'm going to get the Cabalion and the Registeel back. I would like to end him right here, but number one, I don't think end would do too much. Number two, I just... Um, hmm. I'm going to just Skyla here. Probably for a heavy ball. I play four of them in here. For good reason. Um, let's see. What am I going to get here? I think I'm just going to get the Age of Slash. So yeah, I'm just going to Tropical Beach here, I guess. I think that's the imp. That's what I'm going to do. It's going to Beach. Uh, he can't attack me this turn at all. Um, he's just kind of going, well, now that I have the class of claim, what is he really going to do here? Um, I think he can maybe evolve and try to... No. Actually, I think my opponent can maybe evolve and try to attack me with the left electric. But is that really going to do anything? Um, the opponent had a very fast start, was able to get two EX knockouts, but I'm starting to wonder what he's going to do from here. And the opponent just decides to sack the Ella trick. Um, it's not a horrible play on his part. Truly not. I mean, actually, when I uh, used a heavy, a heavy ball, I actually could have used, maybe instead of getting the age slice, I maybe should have gotten a, uh, another Pokemon instead, or like the other Clang instead, but I decided maybe I can just draw into that and I don't mind waiting. Um, what is my opponent going to do here? It, he can't really do anything. He just overfilled his bench real quickly and was not able to bench a uh, actual Pokemon that can attack me. I don't know if anything can attack me. I don't think he... Does he even have a non X attacker? I mean, I run on. Oh, it's my turn now. Um, so he's Skylight. I don't even know what he's Skylight for. for oh, he. <laughs> he's like, I, think, I think he's pretty much going, you know, I'm li he's probably going to be literally attacking with Eels right here. And that's not exactly the worst play in the world, honestly. I do have. I don't know what he actually got there, but. I can end here. That's always nice. I'm going to end. And I don't need to do anything else. No, I don't. I only have two steel energy in play, though. I wonder if I can even move around the, uh... No, I can. So, that's great news. In case he ever does decide to attack me. I actually maybe should have moved the steel energy away in case he was able to get a knockout here. But shoulda, coulda, woulda. I'm very, being very bad with my uh, steel energy saving right now. I really am. Um, uh, I'm just hoping he can't really attack me. We're just dead through that turn. If he did, that's good for me. Now I can finally start attacking. Um, I do want to start taking damage, doing damage to their quasi EX, to be honest, though. The Keldeo, eh, I don't like the kit, the fact that Keldeo just keeps rushing and retreating. Oh, opponent decides to Juniper. What is he going to do? Oh, Juniper and way well, Juniper and Ryoku. Ryoku is not going to be very useful in this matchup, honestly. Um, my opponent is just going to attach an energy now, probably. I think my opponent just might just diamond over here for 50. And that's actually not the worst play in the world. I can never one-shot him with this deck. Um, maybe I should play two Registeel because Protect Charge for 80 and then doing 20 is nice. Let's go! Oh, that was funny. 
Ah, uh, great. Um, now, will this 40 damage be relevant at all, this game? I think it actually might. Um, let's see, I'm actually going to switch here. Because I'm actually, I'd just rather hit for a hunt, swing for 100, and just prevent him from doing any massive damage to me. He only hit for 40 because shield energy is awesome. Um, it's going to max potion here. Eventually, I do plan on drawing into or getting Lysander's trump card, and eventually I, uh, will be gaining a bunch of stuff back. Well, maybe what would I be getting back? Maybe an energy or two I missed. And my max potion and my many heavy balls. And honestly, I really don't need anything here. I could trump card, but I don't need to do it anytime soon. Um, if he does get a Rayquaza, like a mini ray, I do want to get rid of that thing ASAP. If only I can. You not to mention, uh, with two shield energy on this thing, you're not going to be able to hurt it anytime soon. I, sh I only played two shield energy, but I think maybe we should amp the count to four. Now that Rayquaza comes into play, it's. That is an interesting thing. Um, I don't have anything that can one-shot it. I mean, I could hit for 140. Yeah, I'll be hitting for 100, 120, 140. No, it doesn't even resist me, so I can knock it out here if I have the muscle band. And I do have the muscle band. Um, my opponent... Ooh, my opponent needs to attach A energy. And Volt strike me for 120. So yeah, that's... It's so gonna be tough for him. Do I even? It's doubtful he can even win here. Let's see. This it does twenty to itself. Oh, I don't even need that much damage. Um, let's see. Yeah, you could also play a Bronzong in here, which I am not playing. I'm not playing any Bronzongs in here. Um, if he's just straight up hitting me for a hundred. Um, I don't know what he's going to do here, I really don't. Well, actually, I think I do. He's just going to hit me for 120, probably. Oh, Lysander me. Oh, I don't think that was the right play. I don't think that was the correct play. He should have brought up the, uh, the clean claim, but I think he's just hoping that I, he can't, I can't do anything else. Which would actually not be a bad move on his part. <laughs> and it's just like GG. <laughs> it just gives me the victory because he knows he can't win here. Um. Uh, yeah. That was a quick 13 minute video. <laughs> that is just the awesome power of Kling Kling, I guess. Fear the mighty Kling Kling. For it beats everything. Um. But it, I tried it. I would try to maybe get an, uh, another video with this thing, but at the same time, you know, it's hard, very hard to get a, a good matchup with Clean Clean because if this thing does, if you don't get set up, um, quickly, you get pretty much rolled right over, and it just kind of sucks. And normally, if this was like an actual game, my opponent did just decide to play it out. This would be a very long game. Like seriously, if my opponent really wanted to play it out, my opponent. There was no point in my opponent playing out, knowing he would just eventually lose. He wouldn't lose right away, but eventually he would lose. And I think the, this play on his part was trying to get rid of the uh, registered. I get the fact he only had two prizes back left, but, you know, I don't know. Actually, now that I think about it, he only had two prizes left, so maybe he was just trying to finish it up. Um, so yeah, this is a straight the clean clag if your opponent can't really attack too much. And since I have two shield energy, it's just negating 30, 20 damage each and every turn. It's like basically a hard charm. He's just going, well, it, 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 if you attack a protect charge, that gets really, really good. It just seems really annoying for your opponent. It truly does. Um, so yeah, I'm Samuel 15, the Dragon Tamer. Hope you guys liked today's video. Please like, subscribe, all that silly stuff. And I'll see you guys next time.